Hello, it's Patrick here from thegaragebandguide.com. If you want to record the highest quality audio possible into GarageBand on your iDevice, you'll want to hook up a proper audio interface. Which audio interface is right for you is a conversation for another day, but whatever model you go for, hooking it up to your iDevice isn't going to be as straightforward as you might like. Whether you're rocking a lightning-based iPhone or iPad, or a USB-C equipped iPad Pro, here's how to attach it to an audio interface. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using my second gen Focusrite Scarlett 2i4, but you can follow along at home with any USB based audio interface. Note that Firewire interfaces cannot be attached to an iPad or iPhone with or without an adapter. If you have an iDevice with a lightning port, so that's the iPhone 5 model right up to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, or iPad 4th gen up to the latest version of iPad and iPad Air, you'll need one of these. This is the official Apple Lightning to USB adapter, or camera connection kit as it's also confusingly known. It has a lightning plug at the end of a short cable and USB-A and lightning ports at the other end. Yes, you can grab much cheaper third-party clones of this wee gadget from eBay, Amazon and Wish, but I would definitely recommend against it. Apple are notorious for pushing out regular updates that can make unofficial lightning-based peripherals and cables obsolete, if they work at all. So my advice regarding these adapters is to pay a bit more and get the real deal from Apple. You'll save yourself some headaches further down the line, trust me. First step is to plug the adapter's lightning connection into the lightning port of your iDevice. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm using an iPad, but this will work in exactly the same way on iPhone. Next, connect your audio interface's USB plug to the adapter's USB port. Here is where you'll likely hit a bit of a snag. Lightning-based iPads and iPhones don't generate enough power on their own to power an audio interface, so you'll get this message when you plug it in. This is where the lightning port on the adapter comes in. By plugging in a lightning cable attached to your device's plugged in charger, you're providing enough power for the audio interface to work and record your audio into GarageBand, as demonstrated here by me talking a load of nonsense into this attached microphone. You may need to turn that up a little bit, but yes, you can hear my voice being recorded through the interface and the attached microphone. And if I hit record, it will start recording my voice through the interface and the microphone. And if I hit record, it will start recording my voice through the interface and the microphone. If you want to hook an audio interface up to your third or fourth gen iPad Pro, thankfully things are a little more straightforward. Apple outfitted these models with USB-C ports instead of their proprietary lightning port, which gives you much more choice when selecting accessories and adapters. Any USB-C adapter that includes a USB-A input will work, though don't make the mistake I did at first and buy an adapter that has tons of really useful ports on it, but no headphone jack. While most audio interfaces will have a headphone input on them somewhere that will let you monitor the audio you're working with, lugging your interface around whenever you want to listen back to your projects will get old fast. After realising my mistake, I grabbed this anchor adapter from Amazon. It sits flush against the edge of the iPad when it's plugged in, has all the ports I need, including a USB-C port so I can charge the iPad while using it, and has that all-important headphone jack too. 
Another upside of working with USB-C is that the iPad Pro can output enough juice to power an audio interface without needing to plug anything into the mains, meaning you can simply plug in the adapter, attach your audio interface, and you're off to the races. And again, you can hear my voice being recorded through the audio interface and the microphone attached to it. And now you can hear my voice being recorded through the audio interface and the attached microphone. And now you can hear my voice being recorded through the audio interface and the attached microphone. So there you have it. Whether you use a lightning-based iPhone or iPad or a USB-C equipped iPad Pro, that's how you hook it up to an audio interface. If you're just getting started with GarageBand on iOS or just want a refresh on the basics, you can download my 38-page beginner's guide absolutely free. I'll put a link to that and all the gear mentioned in this video down in the description below. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.